Hi, in this video, we are going to see a transformer differential relay testing using Omicron kit. Before going into testing, we can see a few things. First, we have to note the nameplate detail of the transformer. These are the nameplate detail, and another one is take consider the CT ratio. After that, we have to go for calculating the full load current. For finding the full load current, formula is MVA divided by root 3 into voltage rating. For now, I am going to calculate for full load current in primary side. So, my formula stands for MVA divided by root 3 into HV voltage. Here, the HV voltage is 33 kV and MVA is 25 MVA. So, when I substitute into this formula, I get 438 amps similarly i am doing for secondary side to find the full load current after finding the full load current i have to find the secondary amps for the corresponding full load current because for testing the relay we need the secondary current so in order to find the secondary current for this we have another one formula that is full load current into the inverse of CT ratio. Here we see the full load current is 438 amps and our CT ratio is 600 bar 1 amps. When we make the inverse of it, it will come 438 into 1 divided by 600. We get 73 amps. Similarly, follow for full finding full load current on secondary side. Next one is very important that to find the matching factor. If you make a mistake in a CT matching factor, when it is in low load or when it is in uh, off load or when in minimum load, without matching factor, also, they will not give any differential trip, but even though we have a differential current flows onto the relay. But when you see in if you have any out zone fault, definitely if you are if you are not fixing the matching factor, your relay is going to trip. So it going to make a mole operation. Now to avoid this, we have to make a correct matching factor. To find the correct matching factor, the simple formula is 1 divided by the full load current. The matching factor is nothing but making a unity unity factor. We have to we are going to make a unity between these two. When we find the matching factor for primary side that is 1 divided by 0.73 we get 1.37 that is I round off 1.369 instead of my relay cannot hold more than three digits so I am making into 1.37 so I am going to going to find the matching factor for second side here also I am making the round off since this much the de uh, decimal the relay will not take it will take only 1.2 or another one decimal let me see if we are not using matching factor properly what will happen first example we are going to see uh, without matching factor. Consider my load having 1000 amps. Regarding this 1000 amps, our secondary CT will sense 1000 amp. Corresponding to the secondary current, the primary current, as we calculate, if we calculate, it will go for 110 amps. Depending upon this primary current, our secondary CT ratio will produce in primary, it is 0.35 amps. In secondary is 0.4 amps but the current is in opposite direction to each other even though there is opposite direction to each other their magnitude is different so difference in magnitude we get is 0 0.05 amp this different current will be sensed by differential relay if you are not using a matching factor and when there is in no load this difference in current will not make any trip but there will be a minute difference current flowing on it but when the current in the load side increase very high or 
any out zone fall definitely it will give high differential current and your differential relay going to trip on it so everybody get confused why it is get trip next if you see with matching factor what happened with the same example i am going to consider in this if you use a matching factor when the differential currents calculate in the relay before it going to calculate it will multiple with the secondary current with the corresponding matching factor if we cut now for a secondary current for hv side is 0.35 amps if we multiple with this 1.37 this 1.37 is a hv side matching factor when i multiple i get 0.48 amp when you go for a secondary same way the 0.4 amps is a secondary current its multiple factor is 1.2 when i multiple i get 0.48 now you see the secondary side and primary side it's become a unit that means it is it is matched by using matching factor and also the angle also in opposite direction now the differential relay sends a zero current so it will not give any trip if in out zone if it is in in zone corresponding angle change corresponding uh, magnitude change that magnitude will be sensed in differential relay the matching factor mainly used to match the difference in ct ratio next one is very important is a vector group in our system dyn level d stands for delta y stands for star n stands for neutral the neutral is done in star side and level stands for vector how to plot the vector it's very simple assume a clock and plot a line over the level of clock and make the 12 as a zero and rotate the 12 into zero angle now i am going to match the clock into angle measurement so i am going to align this clock into zero axis when i align in zero axis the level of clock will become in a 30 degree to the zero angle when i make when i want to stability from the 30 i have to go for directly opposite when i go directly opposite it is 210 for level of clock 210 is a stability angle see the deep of the vector group I will make a next video on that we can see a deeply in the vector group now we can go to a differential relay this is the differential settings which is given by the customers in that differential low stage is 0.3 differential high stage is 1200 percentage slope 1 30 percentage end section 2 150 percentage end section 1 we don't have but they didn't give but it was mentioned in the manual that in section 1 for the RET relay is 50 percentage so I am going to take that value and slope 2 is 100 percentage For differential testing, we have some of the following test has to be done. First one is pickup test. Second one is stable test. Third instability and fourth we go for slope finding slope. In finding slope, we have two tests. One is short test and another one is search test. First we see the pickup test. On pickup, first we have to find the pickup current. To find the pickup current, the formula is the HV full load current multiples of low set pickup value. Our low set is 30 percentage. So 30 we have to consider as a 0.3. When you multiple, we get 0 0.219. Now, it will go into the testing open omicron when you open omicron 
generally we have only one current source so we have to make two current source in order to make two current source go into hardware configuration on that analog you select another ct Now I am going to take a first CT as HV and second CT as a LV. For pickup test, we have to inject on one side of the CT only. Normally we go for very slow step by step to see the pickup. We have to fix it very low value below than the pickup value. That is here my pickup is 0 0.219. I can set the value 0 0.1 and we have to ramp it slowly to 0 0.2 0 0.212 and we have to see the tripping if the stripping is occur very below the value or very above the value then we have to check the settings occur if tripping is occur in 0 0.2 or 0 0.18 in between this value it is acceptable same way i am going to check it on lv side my LV side is I am considering as a CT my second CT After checking the pickup test, I am going for stability test. For checking the stability, the current magnitude should be above than the pickup value and below than the high differential value. And the angle between these two should be opposite. That is nothing but for here is like a vector group level. So my one side of the CT will have 0 degree. My other side of CT should have 110 which I was shown in vector group when I inject the relay should not give trip the relay should be in stable condition Next we can see instability test. For instability test we can inject the current unbalance between HV and LV or full load current with same phasor angle. The angle should be angle between these two should be same. When we inject it will give trip instab instability and you can see the differential current in the relay. While doing stability first we have to check in the relay the differential current is zero or not the differential current should be completely zero when you used when you finding the stability test
next one is slope test to check to slope test first we are going to find the sum value for the slope this is the outer layout of the slope in this layout we have the sum of value i differential n section n section 2 slope 1 slope 2 n section 1 i differential but we don't know the value y3 and es3 we are going to find these two value to finding this value as i mentioned in previous video i was calculated and i got the value y3 is equal to 0.6 es3 is equal to 12.9 if you have any doubt in finding this value you can refer my previous video after finding this i have substitute in the graph by referring this graph i am going to draw in omicron software for uh, for drawing this slope we have to open differential operating characteristics menu over the differential block after opening we have to go for test object in the test object you can able to find a uh, three things first one is device second one is differential third one is CB configuration over this differential it's very important because we feed all the data in the differential for testing in differential first we see a protecting object in that protecting object you can see the protecting object selection over there it is transformer defaultly selected so I just leave it if you are going to select if you are going to test for a motor generator you have to select that corresponding component next important thing is we have to give the correct current value rating and power rating with vector group if you make mistake over here the kit will generate depending upon this value and it will may go for mall operation and our your slope may go failure and your test kit not your test is not able to complete properly after making all this you can see the vector group vector group is mentioned above but the setting should be done in below if you do the settings in below the automatically it changes over there when you finishing this column you have to go for next one is ct ratio On CT ratio, we should not keep the actual CT ratio. We have to keep by full load current, by secondary current. For my full load current, 438 or HV. For that, I have to make 1 amps in secondary. If you keep in this order, then only your differential will work properly. And third one is protecting device. In this, the important thing is here we have a bias calculating formula over here we have to select IP minus IS divided by K1 where K1 is we have to make it as 2 it is a general bias formula in some relay if the formula they are using different we have to select corresponding to that that can be checked in the relay manual only for ABB and Siemens, some most of the relay they are using this formula only. The third one is characteristics. In if, when you open this characteristic, it will have some default curve. We have to remove all this and let me go back to our calculated slope. In this slope, if we see, this is the first point for us starting point. This starting point should be I bias value. We have to make it at zero. I differential we have to make at 0.3 and when we go for end point the end point should be 0.5 and 0.3 correspondingly this area if you see this is the first area in this is the end of this area so we are making as the considering this as end point when you after making this point you simply go for add when you add it you can find the next point and starting point will consider automatically as the our previous end point and this is the 
second section starting point and second section ending point should be over here when you see this value the i differential is 0.6 i bias is 1.5 same way if you go for add it will consider for next starting point and next ending point is our i differential is 12 and i bias is 12.9 after adding this we can go for device in device if you, you can make it a serial number substation name and uh, relay name for your generating report for reference of your generating report in header it will come all this detail After making this you just click OK then now we can go for testing in testing we have two type of testing one is search test another one is slope test in a short test you can go for a individual point testing also and you can go for a group testing also if you want to go for group test just you select the point and go for add and you can add the various fault in a fault type you can select the various fault and you can add it over the region You can say you can also type the fault type which will be below the short test after you giving start and continue it will check one by one once it all completed you can see thoroughly over the tripping region you will get that timing over the stable region you will get the timing test the tripping timing will not be there it will be noted as n by t 
non tripping region after doing this you can export re uh, report for short test once short test finish you have to give clear in a short test after selecting the point you can test one by one by clicking the fault first i have done testing for or face to earth second i am going for face to face or to y face like that you can change the fault type in for various fault and you can export the report The next one we are going to see a search test. Before going into search test, we have to remove all the point in a short test. Otherwise, the in search test we are not we cannot able to select the point. You can check now. I am trying to select the point. You cannot you can you can notice we cannot be able to select any point. Only we can able to click. We cannot able to select. So first we have to remove all the point in short test. Now you can able to add the point over the short test. Once you selected in, in search test. Now I can able to add the point in search test. Once you add the point in search test. We cannot able to add the point in short test. These two type of test we cannot do at the same time. Either we are, we can perform one te uh, short test or we can perform search test. On search test is more effective than short test. On search test it will check completely full thoroughly over the slope from the in zone to out zone. And after checking that it will give the test passed or fail. If you have a, any problem in slope in search test it will go for failing After completing this test, you can generate the report for this test also.
If you think it's useful for your friends, you can share this video to them. Thank you for watching this video.